hello friends uh, welcome again and this is my new project online medicine store and i have developed this project in react js spring boot and mask well, right so the java version we are using is 1.8 right and npm node version is node version 16 right and my SQL version is uh, 5.6 so this is a web application so for front end and ui development we have used html css and javascript uh, some of the javascript means that is the react js library we have used right for id tool we have used sts spring boot tool suits uh, for developing the spring boot application and this is the headless architecture means all of the api we have developed in spring boot and we have used visual studio code for writing the react application and we have used mysql database right for port we are using port 8080 8080 for running the apis and port 3000 for running the front end application right so these all technology stacks id and ports we have used for developing this project online medicine store so let's start with the features go through that what are the modules what are the features available inside this project right so once you run this project online medicine store right you will get this home page you can see this is the home page and this all some of the medicines are coming on the home page and it's coming from the database right through apis right rest all of the informations are static right one more thing i want to convey you so this is a mini project which has only and only customer features means customer can perform the operation there is no admin login in it if you need admin login then there is a separate project available on your website you can watch that video right so let's start uh, exploring the this project feature <clears throat> so this is the home page this is a about page and this is a static page there is nothing dynamic on it this is a category so it will show you all of the categories so there are six categories we have added here right you can add more categories from the database directly because there is no admin panel if you want to search any category just search <coughs> and you will get that category if you click on that category you will be able to see all of the products belong to that category right so you search for tablets you can see all of the tablets are coming right if you click on the view right add to cart of view then you will be able to see the details of that category right you can select the quantity here and add to cart right but you can't add the item into the cart without login so you need login for adding the item into the cart this is all products all of the products all of the medicines which we have added in the database will be displayed here so you can see we have added nine medicine but if you want to add more medicine just add it from database directly right and if you want to search any uh, medicine here just uh, search here right you will get the filter search you can see right this medicine is coming here if you click on quick view you will be able to see the medicine right this is a registration form from here customer can register and customer can perform certain operations right means customer can buy the product right customer can see his order history right so this is a customer registration form you can see and uh, this there are certain fields and customer needs to fill all of the field and after that after submitting the details will be saved inside the database through the spring boot api this is a login from here customer can log in and customer can order the product and the feedback this is a static feedback right then customer can submit the feedback about the website so now i am going to log in so user id is amit at the rate gmail.com and password is test Once you submit, you will get this dashboard. You can see this is the dashboard, right? Here, home, I already explained you all products. All products means this all products, right? Again, the dashboard. This is a my cart. So currently your cart is empty because you have not added any item into the cart, right? My orders, you will be able to see all of the orders which you have made earlier, right? if you want to see the detail just click on this arrow button you will be able to see all of the order details total amount paid the order date and time each and everything you can see here right this is a submit feedback from here you can submit the feedback i already explained you about this this is a my account section 
customer can update his account details from here right and the logout so logout i will explain you later right so now i'm going to all products and i am going to order some medicine right so quick view and i have added five medicine here so total amount is 500 continue shopping so morphine uh, so this one quick view and i have added two so two items we have added so here five items we have added right so if i want to delete it just click on the delete and it will ask for your confirmation yes and that item has been deleted now i am going to add more item that is this one right add item one please so total amount we need to pay is this and this all amounts and things are calculating automatically right so there is a button checkout if you click on the checkout it will ask for your card detail so this is a static and this is a dummy payment gateway there is no need of it in correct credit card details right only enter the basic information right so you can add here right name on the card you can add anything right because we are not making any type of real transaction transactions from here and this one right even we are not validating anything right? once you click on the submit your order will be created so your order has been created and order number is 393 you can see these three items you have added and total amount you paid is 2700 on this date right these all are some these all are the information of the customers if you want to see the same details on your order history just go on the my orders and this is a 393 you will be able to see the order history the last option is the logout so this is a you can see these are the some administration menus are coming here right but this menu is rendering through the session right if customer logins then it will show the different menu if customer logouts it will show the different menu. let me show you so you can see the menu has been changed but if you log inside the system it will show you the different menu right and it will be related to the customer <coughs> you can see it's showing different menu and it's showing the customer information right and log out it will it's not showing any administration menu so these all features we have developed inside the spirit online medicine store and as i told you earlier this is a mini project developed in java spring boot react and mysql so if you need any enhancement any new features any new models here just put it into the comments we will incorporate those changes we will make this project more better and better according to requirements and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest project videos on the latest technologies Thanks for watching the video. Thank you very much.